In this video, I want to show you how to customize page titles. In my example setup here, I have a simple template that includes a header snippet. And in the header snippet, the head element is defined and the title element is defined. And I use the page object and the title method to include the dynamic page title for every page. And this works really well. But most of the times you probably want to add something to it. So pretty standard would be to add the site title as well with some kind of custom separator, character, whatever you prefer to have in here. So that would be an, a way to go. So now you could combine those two. Let's have a look at that. So we have the current page title plus the title of the entire site. So in this case, our agency name. And this is great unless we visit the home page. And then you have this ugly home thingy in up there, which you probably don't want to have there. Um, I mean, yeah, if you customize that home title for the page, you could optimize it a bit more. But oftentimes um, we want to have a different title setup depending on where, whether we are on the home page or um, whether we are on any of the sub pages. And we can do this pretty quickly with an if clause. So let's create an if clause and we can ask for the home page. So we can say, is the current page the home page? And if it's true, then we can create a different title element than on any other page. So let's copy that first. And so on the home page, we might just want to introduce the site title, for example. That could be one option, or we just want to in, uh, include the page titles, and then we can go for that. Um, let's go for the site title and open that again. And now we only have the agency name in our document title here. So that's a lot better already. But to optimize it even more, we probably want to have control over the page title of every page, the home page, any other page um, with a custom field. So if we go to our administration panel and we click on one of the projects, ideally we would now have a total new field here where we can put in some custom text for the document title. So let's simulate that as well. So we go to our blueprints and go to our project file here and we create a new field and let's just call it Zeo title. Yeah, whatever you like best. And I'm using a simple inline text field here. So now when I reload that, I have a new Zeo title field. I already filled that in. So um, this is now a, a bit more extensive text that could be customized for this project, for any other project, for any other page. And it's cool, but the other projects don't have such custom Zeo titles yet. So now we need to have um, a way to load the Zeo title, which is not loaded yet. So far, we still go with our page title. Um, but the Zeo title should only be loaded if it's available. So if something's filled in, and otherwise it should fall back to the page title. I'm going to show you how that works. So back to our header snippet to here. We can now load the Zeo title field as we can with any other field. And this, is, this works great. I mean, now the SEO title is coming in, but you can probably already see the problem. Here it's fine. On any other page, um, the title is missing. So we have an ugly separator in here without a title before that. So we need to make sure that we have a proper fallback. And we could now solve this with another if clause. We could check for um, the field being empty or not, and then display yet another row of title of a title element. But we can even make that shorter and use our or um, shorthand for this. So that is basically saying, take that field if it's empty, and otherwise take whatever is in here. So that could be. Um, static string now, just my title. So it would, whatever, um, whenever this is missing, it would just kick, uh, put this in here as a fallback. Or of course you can make the fallback dynamic as well and use the page title again. So now we have the page title as the fallback for the Zeo title. And we have 
a fully functioning setup. So now we have the SEO title here. And when, when we come to another page that doesn't have a custom SEO title, it falls back to the original title. So that's a simple setup for the title element that you can use and you can further customize it. You can also ask for the error page, for example, or you can check for a page template to customize the title by that. Um, there are multiple options to extend this even further, but I really like the simplicity of this setup because it can get you quite far and it's done in just a simple yeah, few minutes like in this video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.